not every matrix can be diagonalized. Let's, in this video, address the question of when a matrix can be. Theorem. An N by N matrix A can be diagonalized if and only if A has N linearly independent eigenvectors. In fact, we can go further. The columns of P. This matrix that appears in the diagonalization are linearly independent eigenvectors. And we can give a proof of this theorem. Suppose that A can be diagonalized. Well, this equation is true if and only if A P equals P D. If we multiply both sides of this equation by P, we get this. And let's look at this equality, AP equals PD, where D is a diagonal matrix. Let's look at this matrix P and as we so often do, let's think of this matrix as a bunch of column vectors sitting next to each other. Then A times P by the way we defined matrix multiplication all those weeks ago is this. We take all the columns of P and multiply them by A. What about PD? Well, this isn't a theorem you need to have memorized or anything. But when you multiply a matrix by a diagonal matrix, the product turns out to be quite simple. P times D is the first column of P times the first diagonal element of D. And so on down the line. One matrix equals another matrix if its columns are equal. And setting the first column here equal to the first column here Well, this is an eigenvalue eigenvector condition. Lambda one is an eigenvector. V one is an, sorry, lambda one is an eigenvalue. V one is an eigenvector. And so on down the line. 
all of these equalities are eigenvalue, eigenvector conditions. So that tells you that these columns are eigenvectors. Where does linear the independent come from? It comes from the invertible matrix theorem. If the columns of P aren't linear the independent, this inverse wouldn't even exist. 